One day he wakes up in the middle of the night, I guess it's the night, not, not the day, and says, hey, I've had a vision from an angel that looks suspiciously like maybe a, a bowling trophy. And they have told me that I have been given a purpose to uh, to murder demons. Um, I'm not murder. I'm sorry. Destroy demons. Hello and welcome to Blockbuster Review. It is where I play a single game of Tetris Marathon and try to review a film before the blocks reach the top or until I get to 150 lines. Spoilers are at line 50. And here we go. So Frailty is a horror movie that came out in uh, 2001. And it came out in April of 2001. I felt like the uh, release date is important and I'll get to that in a minute. But it is about um, a man comes into an FBI office, uh, I guess a uh, department in Texas, and he says, hey, um, are you the guy in charge of this God's Hand killer case? And he says, yes, I am. That man is played by Powers Booth, who plays the uh, FBI agent, and I've already kind of screwed up who is who. The man who came in is Matthew McConaughey uh, doing what I like to call, yeah, I could have done True Detective in 2001. Get at me. And he comes in and says, hey, you know, I think I got your God's Hand killer. It's my brother. And immediately the uh, FBI agent is uh, suspicious. And Matthew McConaughey, given a pretty damn good performance, is like, hey, man, why do you already doubt me? You, you haven't heard me out. And he's like, well, these things don't just get magically solved. And Matthew McConaughey's like, well, I solved it for you. And he goes into a story. And the story is of his childhood being raised by uh, his father, who is played by Bill Paxton, who is delivering a very good performance as well as a father of two boys whose uh, mother tragically died while giving birth to the youngest boy. And it's uh, Fenton and Adam. Uh, the older boy is Fenton. The younger boy is Adam, and the father, you know, seems to do a decent job. He's a mechanic. He's holding this uh, family together without a without a uh, mother. And one day he wakes up in the middle of the night. I guess it's the night, not not the day, and says, "Hey, I've had a vision from an angel that looks suspiciously like maybe a, a bowling trophy." And they have told me that I have been given a purpose to uh, to murder demons. Um, I'm not murder. I'm sorry. Destroy demons. And the son is like, well, the sons are like, okay, one of them is right, right on board. Like, hell yeah. Let's go dad. Rah, rah. Let's, uh, let's kill demons for, for Jesus, uh, and God. And the dad starts saying some weird shit, man. Besides I've been tasked by an angel to kill demons. He says the people I have been tasked. No, not people, demons. It's very weird because he says I have been tasked to kill demons to destroy demons they will look like people and i will be sent three holy objects to murder them i'm sorry not murder i'm gonna it's it plays on that line because it's like oh is this guy on a crusade is he just crazy that was my immediate thought and he says after he sees two of the uh <laughs> two of the objects one is a, is a very intimidating looking hatchet or axe like it's a Claw and axe because it's pretty large. Uh, Otis and uh, gloves and a lead pipe. And he's like, These are the tools. Uh, I have been told by the angel that these name these these folks with these names are actually demons. They they have full names. And they're just people in town. Uh, when I touch them with my hand, I will see the evil that they have done, and then I must destroy them. And one of the brothers is like, okay, dad, let's uh, let's go destroy some demons. And the other brother, Fenton, who is the brother telling this story, which I'm already at spoiler territory. It's not Fenton telling the story. It's Adam, the believer son. And he, it, he <laughs> Adam is telling the, pers the story from Fenton's perspective, which is not believing. He doesn't believe his dad. Uh, he thinks his dad's going crazy and murdering people for real, which, by the way, every piece of the movie uh, seems to point at that. Like he starts literally abusing one of his children because the child Fenton is like, hey man, you're just killing people, dude. There is no angel talking to you, you're just murdering. And the dad's like, nope, I am a servant and angel of God. 
And by the way, the angel told me you were a demon. And, you know, I, I don't want to believe him. You know, I don't want to believe him, Fenton. But, you know, that angel was telling me about these other demons. And they were right because I touched them and I saw their evil deeds. Uh, and there's these pretty intense scenes where Bill Paxton just puts his hands on these people and they immediately freak out because this stranger has just kidnapped them and is about to murder them in front of uh, his sons. And he tells this whole story about how it like really scarred him. It ends, I mean, we're way past spoiler territory. It ends with uh, Fenton actually taking the ax to his father, uh, making him believe that he has turned it around, that he now believes in the, uh, the cause. And then whoopsie daisy, no, I don't, um, you got stabbed. And so, you're like, oh, wow, that's that's pretty intense. But why would... Why, so Adam is doing these new murders, right? And he goes, no, Fenton is. He's like, I thought you said you were Fenton. The FBI agent said, was like, I thought you were Fenton. He's like, no, I'm Adam. Uh, Fenton's also a murderer, but I destroy demons. I've been murdering folks too, but hey, guess what? Surprise, you're on my list. I've been take, carrying on my dad's work uh, ever since my brother killed him. And they put him on the list, and the, the angel put you on the list. And then the movie does something real bananas cuckoo crazy, where it implies, well, it implies, it straight up says that uh, God is literally protecting Matthew McConaughey's character, who is Adam uh, Meeks. Uh, suddenly, the FBI agent's investigating what happened to their uh, partner, because Matthew McConaughey murders him, um, where uh, he's been burying all the demon bodies which he, he never sees them turn into demons he just gets a glimpse at the bad things they've done a lot like the movie unbreakable so it, i mean did unbreakable rip off frailty a little bit uh and i'm not even i don't even have enough time to get to my point it's dangerous to have a movie like this uh i said it came out in april the uh in 2001 this is before um september 11th um the greatest not the great is it the greatest act of terrorism i think at least in american history and we would soon see what happened with when people with very strong religious convictions who believe they're being led by god the crazy shit they could get up to and this movie posits oh yeah some of those people are right and not only are they right they're basically modern day superheroes and at the end we do what we can to help them because they see the good and evil in people and if they want to quote unquote destroy demons hey man it's all good with the G.O.D. and it's all good with me and you. But when you watch the movie, at least when I did, I was like, yeah, brainwashing techniques aplenty. Anybody who watches the film is going to be like, yeah, he is trying to brainwash his children. One, it's working like a charm. The other, it's not. So it seems like a dangerous movie in hindsight. But still pretty rad. <laughs> still pretty rad story altogether. Just the ending kind of like real... Th real weird stuff to be uh, thrown out there to a general audience. I'm done talking about it. Don't know if I explained it very well. Either way, have a good one.